Hello wonderful person, this is Anton and in this video we're going to be talking about a new discovery of galactic proportions. As you can probably tell from the title of the video, we just discovered an unusual new galaxy right here in our own neighborhood. Now this is actually very unusual and at the same time very exciting because it's like nothing we've ever seen before. As a matter of fact, on this screen right now, you cannot even see it. It is extremely difficult to see. I'm going to tell you a little bit more about this so-called ghost galaxy and also tell you about how we were able to discover it. And at the same time, we're also going to go and try to recreate this particular galaxy, at least our best representation of it, using the Universe Sandbox Square. Now, let's start by essentially trying to discover where this galaxy is located. First of all, the name. It's currently known as Antilla 2 or ANT2 for short, and um, essentially it's at a distance of about 420,000 light years away from the Milky Way. This is about three times as far away as the nearby Large Magellanic Cloud. And here are actually our neighbors, the Large Magellanic Cloud right here, and the Small Magellanic Cloud, the two uh, dwarf galaxies that we can actually see only from the Southern Hemisphere. So I guess Australians are pretty lucky in that sense. At the same time, uh, the existence of this particular galaxy was confirmed by the Australians using Anglo-Australian Telescope, but the original discovery was made by the international team of Taiwanese, American uh, and British scientists, and you can actually find their paper in the description below. And let's actually start by taking a look at what the Milky Way galaxy that you see right now looks like from this galaxy. This is at a distance of 420,000 light years. As you can see, we're looking at it sideways. And this is one of the reasons why it was so difficult for us to locate this galaxy and why it basically stayed invisible until recently. But let me explain this in a little bit more detail by returning back to Earth and taking a look at where this galaxy is located in relation to our planet. And so here we are around our planet Earth, and if you look right there to your left, you'll see the so-called Milky Way. Now this is essentially the center of our galaxy. But as you can see, there's a very large cloud right here that actually kind of hides a lot of stuff from our vision. As a matter of fact, seeing behind this cloud has always been a bit of a problem. Most uh, astronomers today found various techniques and various ways of trying to pierce what's behind this, but for the most part, it actually involves using um, non-visual light frequencies, like for example, infrared light and um, X-ray light and so on. At the same time, uh, there's still some parts that we are not really able to see that easy. And it just so happens that this is actually exactly where this particular galaxy is located. It's behind this cloud. As a matter of fact, we actually had to look for a very specific type of a star um, in this particular region, known as RR Lyrae variable. These stars are usually associated with what's known as a distance candle. We use them to establish distances. And the international team of scientists from Taiwan, UK, USA, and a few other countries, whose paper you can actually find in the description below, discovered that at a distance of about 400,000 to 420,000 light years in this direction, there was a bunch of those RR Lyra stars that were there, but they were there for no reason. And so they actually asked the scientists from Anglo-Australian Telescope to take a look at this region, and those scientists discovered 100 red giants. They discovered new stars in that region that indicated that there was actually a lot more happening than we anticipated. Basically, they discovered a new, unusual, but very dim galaxy. So, if we go behind this cloud, the region that we don't really see very well, right here, somewhere over there, at a distance of 400,000 light years more, we'll discover this galaxy. But we can't really see it very well. As a matter of fact, let, let me show you what it might look like from the Milky Way. So here is the Milky Way galaxy that I was able to create in Universe Sandbox. And right around there, this is potentially what that particular galaxy might look like. Now, the interesting thing about it is that it's actually relatively large. It's about the same size as a large Magellanic Cloud, or about maybe a third of the size of the Milky Way. But it seems to have so few stars. It's about 100,000 times less 
bright than Large Magellanic Cloud. It's very dim, it's exceptionally dim. As you can see, as I zoom into it, it's almost impossible to see it. The only way we can tell that there is something happening here is if I actually enable labels. And suddenly now you can see that there's a, a black hole that I named Ghost, there are a few RR Lyra stars, and a few red giants that are basically all Beetlejuices. But as soon as I disable the labels, you don't really see almost anything. And so the discovery of this particular galaxy actually creates, well, two main opportunities. One is that we can now actually start looking for more galaxies like this, because we now know what to look for. And two is that it allows us to study the um, dark matter that we think may have formed this particular galaxy together. As a matter of fact, uh, scientists think that maybe it's actually a different type of matter that doesn't clump very well. It actually creates diffuse galaxies, galaxies that are spread over a much wider area. But all of this is a theory, and because we haven't really found any dark matter yet, we don't really know what's happening, to be honest. Now, this, of course, raises a few questions as well. Like, for example, so how many more of these galaxies are there around the Milky Way? Because we've discovered Ant 2, we now have 55 local group galaxies, and that's kind of sad for me because I literally just made a video about the local group galaxies, and I specifically said that there were only 54. So that means I'll have to eventually make a new video, but not anytime soon. Let's find out what, what else we discovered in this region. And the other thing that, um, that I wanted to mention is why we were able to discover this particular galaxy, and this actually because of a mission that's still ongoing, the so-called Gaia Telescope mission. Now, this is what the Gaia telescope looks like. It's essentially this relatively large telescope that's currently out there in space, um, essentially creating a very large map of nearby stars. So far, this is what it was able to create. This is actually the most realistic 3D map of nearby stars, and there's approximately 1.7 billion objects it was able to actively uh, detect and actually very precisely map. It can also provide very precise and very detailed um, information about each star it discovers, and most importantly, it's still not done. It's going to actually release new data in the next two years or so. What this of course means is that in the next few years, we might actually have a lot more new galaxies discovered right here near our Milky Way. There might be a lot of galaxies hiding in plain view, and we just haven't found them because we didn't realize these unusual diffuse ghost galaxies were a thing. So, in a sense, we just discovered a new type of galaxy yet again. And at the same time, uh, we also discovered another galaxy that our Milky Way disrupted, destroyed, and probably stole a few stars from, because we think that maybe, just maybe, the gravitational uh, power of the Milky Way stretched and uh, essentially destroyed a lot of the galaxies that used to be here and either absorbed them into itself or turned them into these tiny diffuse leftovers that we see orbiting around us now. Now, to me personally, this is actually an exceptional discovery because not only does it actually open up new doors for new mysteries to be resolved, but at the same time, it also allows us to hopefully, finally, be able to answer the question of dark matter. So what exactly is it, how is it, and why is it? But I guess maybe we're not going to be answering this question anytime soon, because there's still a lot of discoveries to be made. And for this reason, uh, I'm really, really excited to be living in this particular time, because I'm pretty sure that in the next decade or so, we're going to have so many incredible new discoveries that nobody really thought were possible years ago. And for all we know, we might actually finally be able to answer some of the questions that were kind of bugging us for the past few years. But I guess in terms of what we actually know about this so-called ghost galaxy, or Ant 2 galaxy, is that it's the only galaxy we've found so far that seems to actually have really small mass, but very large size. Because normally, uh, galaxies that are shredded apart lose size and mass. They don't lose mass, but gain size. And this is what seems to have happened here. So, for now, that's really all we know. And as we discover new things, I'm going to update you with another new video. And if you still haven't subscribed, consider subscribing and maybe even share this video with someone who enjoys learning about space. Come back tomorrow to learn something else. Maybe even support this channel on Patreon. And space out. And as always, bye-bye.